Juan Calvet from Eurecat. It's a, a new uh, technology center in Catalonia, Spain. And I'm going to present uh, our work in a um, European, European project uh, related to uh, multi-factor authentication. In this case, we, we, we use biometric authentication and mobile devices to, to authenticate users. Well, that's the agenda of this presentation. Well, we are uh, some well, the the global view of the of the project. Um, our task in in the project is the development of a life management platform to well, to manage the data and authenticate uh, users. Uh, which components that we we use. Uh, to develop the, the, um, our architecture. Uh, and finally, we, we will see two use cases where we can apply our, this project or our platform to improve uh, the user authentication or the, the usability. And finally, I will explain the, the status of this project. Well, Eurecat is a, a technology center in, in Catalonia uh, as a result of a merging of um, five technology centers, ASCAM, Barcelona Media, Barcelona Digital, CTMs, and CTM. And well, one month ago, <laughs> I, I worked in, in Barcelona Digital. That is uh, uh, expertise in uh, application of uh, ICTs in ICTs in in files uh, as health, uh, mobility, energy, environment, food, and security. Well, in my case, I'm working on the IT security department of Eurocat, which is divided in two different uh, areas. Um, there is a, a group of colleagues that are working uh, in operative security, doing foreign, uh, uh, forensics analysis, pen testing, and so on. And I'm working in the second group uh, where we are uh, working in, in research, identity management, authentication, access control, uh, digital currency, etc. Well, the, those are some clients or partners that we have in, in, in our department. Uh, public administrations, uh, financial entities, uh, and what well, important uh, entities as Vodafone, etc. Well, the project. This is the, the European pro uh, our, uh, project, the Private Identity as a Service, PIDAS. This is a uh, co-funded co uh, project in, by the European Commission uh, within the program uh, SIP. Uh, competitiveness and innovation framework program. We are uh, eight partners uh, from uh, five different countries, Italy, Lithuania, Norway, UK, and, and Spain. And this project start uh, last year in July and, final, and finalized uh, at the end of, of December, uh, at the end of 2016. Well, the, the two main uh, goals of this project are, um, on one hand, to, to authenticate users um, using a multi-factor system, uh, using uh, biometrics and uh, mobile devices. Okay? And the other, the other important thing is the, the use of uh, biometric template protection schemes. Okay? This is... Um, we, ha we, we propose a, a system uh, using biometrics, but um, the, the authentication, the verification of the biometric data is not uh, in within the, the user device, user in, in the device phone, for example. Uh, the verification is doing is doing in in the server, because for this reason we need uh, biometric template protection schemes to avoid to send biometric data uh, uh, outside the, the, the device. Um, well, the, these schemes um, with high probability are one-way functions, 
and if we if an attacker obtain a, a, a template, probably it's not uh, allowed to to obtain the the biometric data need uh, to generate it. Well, the idea is uh, to use one template for each uh, service provider uh, in order to also uh, provide uh, privacy, for instance, and so on. Well, that's the whole, arch whole architecture of, of the project. The idea is um, if uh, we have a, a user that wants to, to log in in a, in a service provider using, for instance, a laptop, and uh, PIDAS provide uh, biometric authentication using uh, a, mo a mobile device. Okay, that is the user, um, the service provider redirect the, the authentication process to a PIDAS platform. To the PIDAS platform, um, the user provide uh, his uh, username. The life management platform is um, responsible for verify. Um, if the user exists uh, within the, the platform, and if all is okay, uh, we, we send a, a push notification to the uh, mob, uh, mobile device. Uh, in, in the mobile device, the user uh, register. In, in our case, we use uh, uh, voice and face recognition. Okay? Voice are, um, and or face recognition. Um, and when uh, once uh, the user register uh, he, uh, his biometric data, the, the mobile app generate the template, uh, the, the need template associated with the service provider and send it to the uh, life management platform. That uh, uh, using uh, a VTPS module verify if the if this template is it's okay for this user and redirect uh, the, the connection to the service provider. And uh, within this, uh, this project, our work is to develop uh, the life management platform and uh, store all the, the data related with the authentication. The, mo the BTPS module is, is done, is done by, um, by, a, by another partner but we, we, we are responsible for uh, storing all the, the necessary data. Well, uh, Life Management Platform, it's, um, it's not only a, a, a secure storage of personal data, um, it's a, a, a secure way of uh, sharing in information. Okay? Um, Obviously, we to share uh, data, we need to comply uh, several regulations, and this uh, this is the the, the world scheme of of a life management platform. The idea is to provide user the control of his data, mm, um, defining uh, policies to uh, allow. Uh, uh, several uh, entities to consume information of the user and also to allow the, the LMP to provide information to third parties to, for instance, uh, obtain um, a better, a best offer of uh, uh, driver insurance, for instance. In, in the part of, of data, in the data stores, uh, we, we can we can store data or links to uh, to information. Okay. Well, which functionalities uh, we require in in these platforms? Well, we have a, a strong authentication. Okay, because if we we are uh, managing um, health information, for instance, it's uh, it's important to 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 realize a good in authentication. Identity assurance, uh, informed pool. The, um, this functionality allow uh, the LMP to to provide information to third parties in order to obtain um, pers personalized information for for the user. The control push is used to 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 allow 
third parties to consume information of the user within the platform, okay? Using the, the, um, the policies defined by, by users. And obviously, uh, managers to entitlement and identity providers. Uh, another function, uh, another requirements are uh, the interoper interoperability of these uh, of these uh, platforms. It's so important with uh, with uh, another entities. Um, the usability, uh, performance, monitoring, uh, accountability, and uh, security and privacy by design. Okay, and for for this reason, well, this is. Uh, uh, another scheme, the functionality, sc functionality scheme of, uh, of this uh, LMP uh, with uh, all, the, all, all the components, okay? the managers to, to access or uh, consume information, and uh, all the, the models related to the authentication. Okay? We have uh, Auth user authentication by, uh, via password or digital certificates, and in, in the case of the project, we have the, the, the authentication via biometrics. Okay. And this part is, is related to the uh, connectors uh, to provide uh, information or consume information uh, from uh, third parties. And, well, um, we have decide to, decided to, to implement um, this platform using uh, WSO2 uh, for several reasons. Uh, one reason are the, 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 the components that we have to, to use, the adequate components to, to provide uh, this, this service. For instance, the first component is the API Manager. This uh, allows us to uh, to publish APIs uh, using um, um, in a secure way to to allow another the the, the other components of the of the project um, uh, consume our our functionalities. We also use the application server to uh, provide uh, extra functionalities in. In the in our platform, in order to, for instance, um, mm, redirect uh, redirect users to uh, third parties in uh, to 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 access uh, information or so on. Uh, we use uh, enterprise service booths to to connect all the components of our our architecture. Uh, the, the idea is uh, we use the uh, RESTful um, technology, and the the main component of our uh, pla uh, our platform, of course, is the uh, is the identity server. We need to manage uh, users. We need to manage policies. Uh, we need to to manage um, tokens or uh, authorizations in order to. Uh, allow uh, third parties uh, to consume resources, etc. And this component is, uh, we, we think that is, uh, it's so appropriate for our, our purpose. Because in, other, in another point, it's, uh, this, this, application, this uh, product also allows to, to, to develop uh, uh, connectors or plugins to uh, provide uh, mm, to to integrate another uh, authentication service, as is our case with Biometric. Well, we also use uh, the product data services server uh, in order to uh, store um, the biometric data. Uh, well, not the biometric data. The, the um, the biometric templates of, of the users, because for security reasons, we need to, to store in, in different databases all the, the information of the users, attributes, and policies. Um, and in, in this database, we, we will store um, all, uh, all data related with uh, biometric authentication. 
uh, we we use this this product because it's it's appropriate for for our platform because all these products uh, take into account um, the the security by, by design. And finally, we use the 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 BAM to monitor all the all the activity within the platform because the the auditing and um, the logging is so important in in this type of 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 systems. Well, this is the connectivity of, of our components. We we use the the, the bus meter to connect all the other all the other products. We use uh, MySQL uh, database to provide uh, more store uh, storage to the identity server in order to to do the, pro the data provisioning and we use also uh, EJBCA uh, to to generate uh, digital certificates to all all products and, and users. Well, uh, well, in this in the the first um, phase of of the of the project was to to decide uh, uh, what. Uh, mm, what products we we need to to use uh, to implement the the platform, and uh, mm, we first of all we evaluate the the application server because we we consider that the the more important uh, point in uh, in our in our scheme is the 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 identity management and the authentication the authentication process. And in this sense, we 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 consider that the 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 uh, WSO2 identity server is uh, so appropriate to provide uh, these functionalities uh, in in all the, of these types of platforms. And also, we also took in, into account that in our in our mm, company. Uh, other departments uh, are also using uh, these these products to uh, to to develop uh, another platforms, for instance, in the health department. And well, it's we we know the the the, the architecture. And well, these are the the first uh, use case that we we have. Do we consider? That it's interesting to to use this this kind of of, of platforms uh, in order to to provide uh, better uh, um, authentication mechanisms uh, uh, to uh, in order to access uh, sensitive data is the case of of the uh, health environment. Uh, in this case. Uh, the, the 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 identity of a users uh, the the identity assurance it's uh, it's so important because uh, in 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 environment uh, the, the 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 laws and and users um, consider that uh, his uh, his information uh, has not been uh, ha um, must not be uh, uh, stolen. And we also provide traceability, uh, interoperability, because we, we use uh, our knowledge managers and uh, consumers and providers managers in order to uh, uh, provide uh, interoperability between different, uh, among different entities. Uh, and, uh, well, it's and other case is the the case of uh, e-commerce, uh, we we consider that in this in this environment it's so so important to uh, to provide uh, an, a strong uh, authentication mechanism in order to 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 improve the the trustworthy um, uh, using uh, a user-centric model as is the the LMP. Um, we we improve the 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 privacy the data privacy 
and also we uh, enable users to, uh, for instance, monetize uh, their data. Uh, in this case, we can uh, build a, a loyalty among, part, among these, uh, these parties, because if user uh, is aware that uh, when, um, how much uh, is uh, uh, his data, he can uh, negotiate uh, several conditions with, uh, with commerce. And finally, um, only well, the, this uh, uh, the, we, we are in the in the first uh, year of the project. We have defined all the specification of this of of the architecture and and functionality, but we are. Uh, uh, development, the, developing the, 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 all the, the architecture, e adapting all the components with, uh, with uh, in 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 our um, in our platform and uh, with the other components of the of the project, and obviously it's not a production yet. Okay, thank you.